Oh, hey, everybody. Working on my assassinating skills. But more importantly, my bird assassinating skills. You know, last episode got me really excited about the prospects of murdering birds. But don't tell the man that. Apparently, it's illegal to kill certain birds in certain states for some reason, even though it's totally legal to kill the bird in another state. So if you kill it in a different state line, it wouldn't be illegal, which means the whole law is a completely pointless endeavor. Also, I would never kill Pajama Penguin. He's the best character I got. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Ryan Reacts. Today, we're checking out the newest episode of Hell of a Boss that just came out a couple days ago, and I am super excited to see where the show goes, because I don't know. Are they going to continue on with the uh, assassination thing with uh, Stullis? Are they going to go somewhere else and save that for the finale episodes? I don't know, but we're going to find out. And I'm actually excited to see where the series goes because it feels like we're in that period, the end zone, where information is going to start coming out and we're going to get a lot of ooh moments. So I'm excited to watch it. Of course, folks, like check out the original link. More for original content creator. Link in the description. Oh, shit. We're watching TV like a modern gamer. 13 screens with 15 right different this shows. was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. <laughs> I actually like this a lot. I like it when shows have a, a obvious plot hole and they fill in the gaps. Because a lot of people would obviously speculate, wait, if they're so terrible at disguises, how is nobody actually found them? With this, it actually shows that no, the government has seen it on multiple occasions. Actually, all of the occasions. They must use this dark magic to cross over into <laughs> That's a dark magic face. Specifically targeted people. But why? They what accent you have? I can't put. Oh, you're doing a JFK There's accent. No That's what you're doing. Oh, well. That's convenient. <laughs> Most of the thing he does is convenient for his enemy. Pardon my words, sir. But you're currently being the loudest. Has. I said, shush your dick sucking lips, Moxie. Oh, God. I just noticed he had a cow on my finger. I cannot tell you why, but condoms to me are the grossest thing in the world. I don't know why, just the thought of the texture and what it looks like makes me, it, it always puts a little something right there. Ladies. <laughs> Practice safe sex, it's fucking disgusting. Also, is it just me or has the animation been upgraded again? Everything looks a little more cleaner and smoother. <gasps> the prolapse anus gun, named after his mom's prolapse anus. Don't make fun of it. Come on. It's a young, innocent mistake. <laughs> Back off, you tuxedo wearing fox. It's this way of saying your cologne is way too strong, bud. Oh no! <gasps> I'd like to see the suits at corporate corners loses now. <laughs> that was pretty badass. So you hear the two knuckleheads got a demon? You really think they're gonna fool us with that possum and a weird reindeer? <laughs> These guys are a couple of idiots. They sure are. Let's shoot bullets at them. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until- Open the fucking portal now! Oh, shit! Looks like the girls are ready to kick some ass. Finally awake, huh, little fella? Your partner has been for a while now. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers from the college I dropped out of. I <laughs> nipple first to a car battery, so I- Oh, okay. They tied his tail to a bull. I take it back. Jesse and James over here is actually a genius. They didn't just dig a hole and wait for Pikachu to fall into the hole. Even though he always had flying Pokemon, so he could have just out of there at any point. That's why these guys get paid the big bucks. 
And his sideburns. That's really why he gets paid the big bucks. How did you get to our world from the afterlife? Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock, and I'm still feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you fetch us some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? I want something no? iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more cappa than chino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise. And make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. <laughs> I can't handle that. I'll have a venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk. With My brother was boxy, shots. and I find that very offensive. I get it. People call me Brian, and I hate it. Vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add. Enough! <laughs> we aren't getting his coffee. You sicko! Massive douche chills just there. <laughs> if we have to. And trust me, he knows what do shields feel like. answers out of you nasty hell beasts. When you say tortured, you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We would likely tell you anything if it meant an end to the pain. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. We're taking away your bow tie privileges. I'll say anything you want! What do you mean by that? Ah, you're stupid, huh? That's just stupid daddy likey dummy. Good <laughs> one. <laughs> it's Dad, funny because you're dumber than he is. Yeah. <laughs> you are the ones at our now mercy. I'm, we're it's both hard, insulted. Francis. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for what hours, and you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. Yeah, you didn't well, even shake them relentlessly. Going, whoa! Oh, smart guy, eh? One more quip out of you, and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting kinky. <laughs> we aren't playing any vile demon kinks. Trust me, guys, it wouldn't work. That's number one rule in bird law. Kinky shit never works. I know. I did it. Looked it up. I, look, I looked it up. Listen, I'm going to be honest. If you're really going to beat them, if I was going to do it, I'd turn on some sort of horrible Teletubby television show and force them to watch it. I think My Little Ponies would be the ultimate choice. I think it's the ultimate combination of annoyance from the little pink fellow, friendship, which they don't like. They hate that shit. And happiness. Boy, that would make his skin melt. Don't let these monsters get to you. Hey, aren't we gonna get our phone call, bitch? Well, that entirely depends. Who are you gonna call? Hmm? Your fat mom, begging her for a fat time. <laughs> nice try, D. <laughs> the single tear! <laughs> Oh, she said she was dead, didn't she? This fat mom is dead! 20 bucks says she died of morbid obesity. How are we gonna get in? Lift me up to that van! Oh, wait! If she died, then maybe she met him and had sex with him. Then maybe, canonically, his joke was true. He has a samurai sword? Oh, God, these guys really are nerds. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Look at him go! I didn't know we're dealing with the nerd police. As you can see, the reason they're failing so badly is they're white. <laughs> You're gonna use ninja weapons and not use ninjas? You're just asking to fail. Woo! Damn. Did you write a name in the wall? I'm like five years older than you. Stop insulting my mother! She's dead! <laughs> Let's just leave them here until they feel like talking. Don't worry, Damn these so humans and their great technology called slip up and rock. A chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly it usually works. <laughs> mm. So the demons want to play games. Why don't you use your horn to cut it off? Well, it's very sharp games? and you can do that. <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> what? Yeah. Truth bomb! I'm just worried. Oh about no! Our way by now. We're doing the kids so classic the where they have to tell the truth all the time. Hippo to take down that woman when she's upset. We've never Fantastic. dealt with the human government before. Oh shit! Looks like fart fumes. Ryan, Ryan, please don't, don't do this to me. Ryan, please don't. You can't embarrass yourself. You can't embarrass yourself right now. You already said you don't like Stolas. They already have a low respect for you. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't do this, Ryan. 
<laughs> Why are you guys still here? Almost everybody's left already on my channel. What are you doing here? I just made a fart joke in a great comedy. I just ruined it all. Remember to unsubscribe right here. Click this button. What they don't know is that's not the subscribe button. That's a link to my Minecraft playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually add links, so this joke is null and void. All right, let's finish the episode. She's in danger. Do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? I can't tonight. I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie. And she's always five fucking feet away from you. It's pathetic. That was oddly personal. <laughs> You're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my gut spill like that. Oh, the gas, of course! I just thought he was being himself. Because, you know. Fuck. What the hell is this? He says shit like that all of the time. Oh, you just guessed that's what it is? I like to believe it had nothing to do with the gas yet. He was just being himself. Dumping it. Wait. Hold on. We gotta back it up a second. Just hold on a second. Just. Just. Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait! Ew! Fuck! You know what? I don't regret the fart joke anymore. <laughs> That's the most hell of a boss joke I've ever heard in my entire life. Listen, I get it. Don't kink shame until someone actually gets a prolapse anus. Then you can kink shame away because that's stupid. Now that I've made this joke, Take your guess on which of the famous Hobo Ryan characters gets pegged in the butt. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. It's all of you. I'm getting so many dislikes on this video. <laughs> I knew it. Well, your suit is tacky. Fuck, I'm sorry. <gasps> How fucking <laughs> dare you? <laughs> you <laughs> <have> shitty taste. <laughs> That's the one that breaks them? I recommended to you. <laughs> you no you demon does. You loved it. it was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cats. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> this is gonna be a good night. <coughs> Don't bring that me going for it. Damn it, Moxie, this is all your fault. Now I'm uh, hopped up on hardcore drugs. Oh? You know what they say, the truth sets you free, apparently literally. Or hardcore drugs, depending on what they're snorting, I don't know. Blitz? <coughs> I can't see you. God, this smells Blitz, awful. please help What's me. That? I I is feel like I'm in a Stoic stream. It say. is no prank, bitch. Hey. Oh no. Why do you oh, like no. Because you oh, no. bitch boy. Stop it, sir. <laughs> No, what? How could this be? I'm Not again. This is like the second episode. Bad trip. Oy, Gavalt. Of course, Blitz, this would be <laughs> your fault. Confirm Jew. My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that you won't They're doing it again. Like, the animation looks completely different. To divulge too much, but I'm in too I don't know deep, if I like so it less or more. <laughs> this is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay. Cause if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. Oh no! We got him in the clown suit. You want to make fun of me for my pegging? Wait till I show the world your crown outfit. Oh shit! It's not my fault. He likes to honk my horn. <laughs> Thank God they went back to the original animation. Why are you talking like that? What the fuck does that even mean? I'm simply speaking Satan's plain English. Perhaps you should crack open a dictionary sometime, and then maybe you can understand half of the frivolous things I can read on and on about on my daily life without talking. Shut up! Is it weird that my first thought was to connect him with the radio demon but in reality i think that's really just 
a, an effect that they did similarly. Like, I don't think it's actually going to be a connection, but... All that aside, I was going to say I don't like how it kind of looks like a Disney movie. Because I paused on it and look at this. This looks like a freaking Disney animation. And I kind of like the old animation style a little more. Of course, this is a hopped up dream. And added the great simplistic style of what he was before. I really like it. Why do you hurt me so? I know. Why must I you push, push my friends, friends away? Why does it seem like a recurring thing that you alienate with your toxic routine? <laughs> no, eventually everyone goes. Because you're thoughtless and cruel and you'll end up alone. And I am off. You don't know what you are doing half the time. And you depend on me and the missus to manage your foolish flights of fancy. I don't need you. I can do this shit on my own so easily. But you don't want to do things alone, though. You tried to sell that way. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> Did you still shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you for being a selfish shitty shit? In his defense, she was pretty selfish and a shit fuck too. <laughs> this, uh, I had to shut up. This was one of those moments where it's like, oh shit, we getting lore here, boys. Put on the old lore suspenders. Snap. <laughs> I regret that joke more than the fart joke. Angel? I don't know if people is the word I would use for him. <laughs> oh no! It's not a hallucination of everything that's actually happened. Are you worried I may have enough of it one day as well? Stop fucking talking, all of you! How dare you know I like your look and address? It's so elegant and regal! I'm gonna rewatch that uh, that part. I want to be able to um, fully articulate how I feel about it. Oh, also, I'm stupid. Those are not angel feathers. Those are fucking owl feathers. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know. I just rewatched like like a second and went, oh yeah, that that makes more sense. I thought they were saying like, yeah, he's actually an angel. I would blow my brains out live on camera. <laughs> Sorry, I paused on the next part where they're just drooling. I have no idea. I, I was trying to figure out because I wanted to uh, see what I thought about that scene. And I don't really know what the symbolization of the golden chains are. Are they implying that he likes it or he doesn't like it? I'm not actually 100% sure. Because it is imp kind of implying that like he wants to get close to Stolas. He likes him. But he can't. He always keeps pushing him up. But the chains kind of do feel like Stockholm Syndrome. Even though I don't necessarily think it is the case. Because Stockholm Syndrome means you're trapped with them. But he's kind of trapped in a sexual relationship with him because of the book and the stuff. So does he love him because he actually loves him? Or does he love him because someone's showing him intimacy? I don't know. And to be honest, it actually... If, if this is the case where you don't actually know why he likes Stolas and it's like muddled in all these different mental problems... It's a lot more interesting than him just secretly being in love with him. I actually think it's really interesting, except I kind of don't think that's where they're going with it. I could be wrong, but that's just me. <laughs> I mean, what what are you accomplishing, guys? You're just watching Two Demons Drool. Mm, this is a great television show. They eat a piece of popcorn every time a drool drips. Oh, that visual! Wow! Have you held your true feelings inside? I am scared of rejection. Why, Moxie, why do you have Millie put it in your box? <laughs> oh, of course it does. Why else would you? True feelings, so promise me that I can do to be true. And of course he would like it. Look at his characteristics. Why wouldn't he? Jackass, it's true. You've been a jackass, but it's true. As we're back as ourselves, I, I will, will be a better, better friend. friend. 
than I was before. Be better. I will at never not see you in a dress. And together we can begin to become fine. I thought you were going to say friends, but I guess I was wrong completely. Also, I was going to say, I think he likes you. He literally sneaks into your house and looks at you. <laughs> She's a hacking genius. Do you remember what you said to me after my first day with the company? Not really. I remember. You told me I did a good job and that you were proud to work with me. I feel like you wanted to say something more judgmental, but... You said that because I needed it, and it helped. Look, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of, Mox. You care too much about what everyone thinks, except for me, because, you know, my opinion is correct, but just <laughs> keep doing a good job, okay? You shoot and kill good, you escape things easy, you can be strategic and cold-blooded when you need to, and don't expect any more compliments, I'm maxed out. Thank you, sir. You know my name, use it. Thanks, Blitz. <laughs> I can tell you exactly which one was the best compliment of them all. The fact that he said hard and did not make a sexual joke whatsoever. That is more powerful than him saying he's proud of you. That takes real restraint. <laughs> Especially from Blitzo. <laughs> There's my Millie. Impressive work, Mills. How'd you get here all by yourself? With the power of my thick butt and my dog we companion. <laughs> Yeah, there's like little moments like her transformation looks so different. Okay, I've had one too many emotions for today. It's also, I think, like in the movement stuff. I think I like it. Like, look at that. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous scene of him just like with the shadow. Oh my gosh. I know this is a weird thing to compare it to, but yeah! This reminds me of when I used to have fun watching Ruby, where it's just chaos. Just big fight scenes with, oh! He didn't have any hands. He didn't have to cut his legs off. Woo! Oh boy. Thank God nobody has a gun, am I right, guys? <laughs> He's gonna survive and become the next main villain, I'm calling it. Woo! Oh god, dude, seriously. <laughs> this reminds me so much of when I used to have so much fun watching those fight scenes. Just pure chaos. Going down minion after minion, doing cool move after cool move. Whoa! Joy, what? I am just so damn proud of you, Looney. <laughs> so, I've been doing this the whole time. I've killed many of people. Hey, Mills. Ah, uh, you know that moment where you get through a really depressing moment where you're, uh, you know, you're, a lot of heartfelt words being said. How about some water? Oh, boy, Moxie 100% got hit with that, too. She had practice. I, I don't, actually. Gotta be honest with you, I don't. But you're gonna do cool things anyways. Woo! Oh! <laughs> you're alive? Ooh! Oh God, why are we only using weapons from Japan's Edo period? The Edo period was better. Oh my God, they weren't. I told you, I could smell them from a mile away. Oh boy. It makes me wonder if this is gonna follow up like the government's gonna like see this and go to war with them. Ooh! What is it? <laughs> My dick! Is everyone okay? 
I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> Is everyone okay? I mean, you guys are okay. Billy's first day at work didn't go too well. Oh no, he pressed the red button! The red light district's gonna flood in here and they'll have to have so much sex! They can't. Oh no! Quick, the book! Shit, I can't. I can't read the spell in this light. I can't see Dick! You're a dog. How come you can't see in the dark? I mean, I don't know how wow, dogs are with red lights, but. You demons are going anywhere now! What is that? What in the hell am I looking at? What in the frick is that? Uh. Uh. uh oh, I'm sorry. Just fi figured you'd like to know that I'm best friends with the ring girl. We went way back, and she's come to town to say hey. Oh no. He could smell his turned on boner. Agent o. What's the matter, Demon Hunter? Never seen a real demon before. Holy shit! Why were you deep inside her? Never mind, don't answer that. Well. Hey, by the way, thanks. My neck feels great. <laughs> no problem. I'm actually a chiropractor. <laughs> I like to believe also his teleportation just fucked up and he's just like, WHERE THE HELL AM I? HELLO? OH SHOOT, I THINK I TELEPORTED IN A WOMAN'S STOMACH AGAIN! <laughs> How did you know that we needed help? I have my ways, darling. Are you alright? I told you he I smells you when you turned you. on! Good. He knows your wet dreams. How the fuck did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures not being careful up here? You know, if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. We don't want that! They caught us off guard, your highness. Yeah, you can unclench your bird puss, Dullis. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Luckily for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as kooks. Don't, or isn't... Kooks. Uh, okay. Such a silly word. <laughs> now, let's oh, go God. Go. Oh, God. Why do I hate you for that line so much? It is possible. Am I going to get any thank you for the rescue, Bitsy? Well, I suppose you should. Want me to fuck your brains out tonight? Very much so. All right, but you're keeping quiet or I'm using those bear traps. Nah, my heart wasn't in it. Oh, please do. Ah! Oh, God, I take it all back! Oh! So what now? What now? We finally what now? got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Exactly. Everything was recorded. How are they this stupid? That's what I was just about to say till their tongues started melding and reminded me why I want the assassin to win so much. <laughs> I mean, it was cool, but was it cool after all those years of smoke and cigarettes? I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it! I freaking knew it! I knew the second that he didn't delete that footage that everything was gonna be recorded and everything was- Like, they didn't destroy any technology, it just killed people. Which makes this extremely fascinating! So now you have other plays, like you have all these now villains. You've got like, uh, uh, Stolas's wife plotting in the background. Now you got the American government or Canadian- I don't freaking know what government, one of the governments, insert here, going against them. Ooh, I love it when you get a bunch of different moving parts and they go all over the place and you have no idea what's going to happen. That's really fun stuff. By far, one of the best episodes they've done in a very long time. Wowzers! Whoa, this episode had literally a little bit of everything.
I will say I think the weakest portion in this one would be comedy. Most of the jokes were very low ball and not very funny. Like, you get pegged. <laughs> wow! That's it. The comedy would have to be easily the weakest part of this entire uh, episode. There really wasn't any jokes that... I think there was at least a couple that made me laugh, but they weren't like like memorable jokes they were just like one-liners but it, it, it but that's not what this episode was about this episode was about character development times two which good stuff i think that musical portion where you get to learn more about blitzo's uh, like uh problems and moxie's problems was a great touch that was such a clever way of doing it having them go on some sort of hallucinogenic like and they have to be truth because it's truth serum well, not truth serum. That's usually what it is in most shows. Was such a good way to do it. And I will admit, it was one of those moments where I had a hard time commenting because I wanted to just watch it. That That's a sign of a great show. Just a pain in the ass when you're reacting. That moment where you just want to be quiet and take in all the information. You did a great job, hell of a boss. That was really well done. Even though I feel like I didn't really learn much about his past. More about the inner workings of his mind. And Moxie. Moxie, I mean, really all we learned is he takes it in the butt. <sighs> okay, the one thing about that joke is, one, it's not clever. It's not really very funny. I don't, I like, the old peg in the butt. Oh, ha 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 ha. The weak little guy gets pegged in the butt. How funny. There's always this idea that people who are weak and timid always like getting pegged in the butt. And it's just like, it just seemed like such a, uh, to me. But... Whatever. That's a small gripe in this episode. Because let's talk about animation. They 100% got a bigger budget to work their butts off in this episode. Because one, you had different types of animation. Two, it looked so freaking polished. At points, I think I felt it was too polished. But is that really a gripe? I, I liked kind of the older style where everything was connected. This one felt like it was like old new old new it felt like it was being yanked back and forth between two different art styles and not including them being in um the dream sequence because you could do that dream sequence you can do all sorts of art styles and it was really uh can make it really well done like i like how it was like that little primitive i gotta rewatch that entire scene because i feel like i may have missed some information i'll, I'll do like a a recap if I got anything else out of it. Nope, not a single important thing. Though I did miss the line where Blitzo told Moxie to peg the world. The only people allowed to peg the world are pirates, Blitzo. But yeah, animation-wise, I didn't think it was possible. They made it better. Other than certain scenes that I said looked too shiny, and I, I it, it kind of took me out of it. I, did, I don't like the more polished style. I like the, uh, the more drawn style of how it used to be. Either way, these are small gripes. The art style, wow, they did a fantastic job. And action scenes. Oh, boy. I said this in the reaction, and I meant it. It felt like I was watching an old Ruby episode where it's just an awesome fight scene where they do a bunch of crazy things, and you're just along for the ride. It, uh, it brought me a little nostalgia, weirdly enough, and was really fun to watch. And Stolas was... <clears throat> Come on, Ryan, you can do this. And Stolas was... <clears throat> and Stolas was... <clears throat> all right, he was all right. Though he didn't really do anything. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I don't know if his was all of illusion or if he's actually doing stuff. I kind of think it was illusion because she snapped her neck and she was perfectly fine afterwards. So it turns out, I guess, that he's kind of like your your typical, like, powerful demon that does, like, horror shit. But also still didn't he, nobody died. He didn't kill him and he was actually the downfall of them. If he killed both of them while saving them, they wouldn't have the problem that they're in right now. Also, I guess Blitzo and uh, Stolas is the thing, so I get to see them have sex in every episode, which is literally a nightmare for me, and I hate every second of it. Thanks for that. <laughs> you were this close. You were this fucking close of having an episode where I would say, hey, I thought Stolas was great. And then they made intense ASMR tongue punching going on. 
I think the other way reason I absolutely despise the way Stolas has been written is it's always came off as a creepy rape relationship where he's kind of forcing them, thus making me feel, oh, this is a really gross relationship. He's not really into it, but he's kind of forcing them into it. And thus I come to the conclusion that they're a rapist. But then the creators say, oh, no, they loved each other at uh, the whole time, which then makes people like you watch my reaction go, oh, this guy's a fucking idiot and judges people by the way they see them at the beginning. <laughs> Even though... It was written in a certain way to make me believe that. So, the really, the only one that feels like an idiot is me. And thus, why I don't hate just Stullis. I hate the entire concept of the character that exists that is Stullis. And I don't like Birdcock. You can put that on my tombstone if you want. Thanks for watching, everybody. You know, normally... When something makes you uncomfortable, you don't watch it again. You just move on and go, I don't like that, right? Imagine if that was your job. I want you guys to know, everybody who makes me watch these Stullis scenes, you're that guy in the office that comes on down and I'm just wearing my sexy dress just like Moxie. I'm just, I'm just trying to live my job and have fun. And then you grab my butt and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I hated that experience. It was a sexual experience that I hated. And then the guy whispers here, wait till next month when I come back. And I go, oh, God. that's you. <laughs> oh, that's it. I should watch this. Oh man, that's a that's a bad one, Ryan. That's a bad one. Thanks for watching everybody. I love all of you. Bye everyone.